Administrators in a Delaware County school district say they're doing all they can to contain a health threat. A second grade student at Daleville Elementary School is hospitalized now with viral meningitis. The Night Beat's David McAnally has a look at her condition and what the district is doing to keep other students safe. In the Daleville School bus garage, this bus is going nowhere. The sign says it all, quarantined. One of the young passengers diagnosed with infectious viral meningitis. And just trying to keep a virus from spreading. That means extra cleaning crews spending extra time not only in the student's classroom but throughout the elementary school building. What we understand from the health department that is the virus could live on a hard surface for four to five days. So staff like Elva Barkdahl going over everything with antiseptic cleansers daily. The desk at school uh, hard surfaces, doorknobs, doors, things people touch a lot. And the two-week spring break starts with the close of school Friday, giving more time for cleaning. The bus will stay out of service, then be cleaned before schools open. The child actually collapsed on the bus as it was pulling up in front of her house. An interesting use of the security cameras on the bus, the district pulled them off right away, sent images to Riley Hospital where they diagnosed that she was in trouble before the collapse. School officials say seeing her body rigid when she collapsed may have helped speed the diagnosis. The cleanup and communication from school reassuring to some parents. I don't have any concerns whatsoever and I have three daughters that both go there. Our thoughts and our prayers with with Elizabeth and with her family. These are get well cards that uh, students have made for Elizabeth. Ready to go to the family at Riley. We love you, get well. Drawing pictures of happier times. Her family's facing a situation none of us want to face, and so uh, she's constantly on her minds. Pray for everyone, but you're special because I know you. David McAnally, Channel 13 Eyewitness News. And so far, the district has no reports of anyone else getting sick, but they say the symptoms could take three to five days to appear. The best prevention in the meantime is to clean hands often with soap and water and avoid touching your face with unwashed hands.